Hi everyone and welcome to the Weekly Woo. We are really in this full moon right now. It's exact tomorrow, depending on where you live on the planet. It is in Scorpio, which is ruled by the planets Pluto and Mars. So if you know anything about those energies, those archetypes, this is deep transformative work. And what's so amazing, we pulled Bat Spirit again as our totem this week. Because this moon is all about death and rebirth. The question to ask, what is dying in your life? What needs to die? What is your relationship with death? Because we have in, in our world, in our life as humans, we have cycles that are constantly beginning and ending, constantly. And really, there's a certain grace, power, and magic in getting really good with that fact, getting fully at peace with that fact, and actually being able to navigate those cycles. We also pulled silver, right, as our, our crystal, our, our metal, whatever. <laughs> silver is the yin metal, right? It's, it's the feminine quality, receptive. It's the, the slower energy. You would sort of think of its counterpart as gold, which is more solar. This is lunar, and it's, when we pull it, it says, okay, where, are you, where is the moon cycle? Because you need to pay attention to what the moon is doing right now. So. Here we are, we're in this transformative Scorpio full moon portal. What's dying so that something new can be reborn? We know, like I said in the last, well actually like I said in the full moon video that I made, which I'll link here if you're watching on YouTube, we already know what has to go. And that doesn't necessarily have to be something in the outside world. It can be something within. And so when you when we go there first, right? We go within first. What about maybe it's your dialogue with yourself, the way that you speak to yourself? Is there something in that? Because we have very strong Mercury energy and very strong Venus energy right now. And they've been conjunct and working together and moving together. They've been like pals right now. That really can focus us on how can we communicate with ourselves with more love? How can we then communicate with others with more love? But it really, it starts here. And there's something about, you know, Venus and Mercury moving together as they have been. And then we go into this full moon and, and we can really make radical changes right now. The parts of ourselves that can't move forward with us can easily be sloughed off right now. But it takes this awareness that, that you know, we hear about, you know, self-awareness. Know thyself first, right? The Oracle at Delphi, know thyself was written above. It's a time for deep introspection and the, the calling in of our talent to really just let go. Like when dogs experience, you know, shock or trauma, they, they, they shake it off, right? Animals have this ability to reset immediately. And I feel like this, this moon, like all of this identity shifting that we've all been having and this like value researching, like re-evaluating what are the values? What do we really care about? What do we really want? This moon is like, okay, well then put your money where your mouth is, you know, like, are you going to really going to walk, are you going to really walk this talk? Now it's, I pulled a couple different cards from different decks that I don't normally pull. And I thought it was interesting. We have earth angel. This says you are a light worker who has come on earth to teach about love. So again, that love starts with how do you treat yourself? from what you put into your body. What, what is the mental dialogue within? Like, you know, we all have an inner critic. What's that like? What's your inner critic like? Is it supportive? Is it nurturing? We go back to this silver being the lunar, which also when we pull silver in this deck, it talks about endings and beginnings. 
maybe there is a part of yourself that is too hard on you that needs to go, that you need to shed so that this kind of energy can, can be born in replace of that. That spirit says like, the deeper you go, the more auspicious the change. So what would it take for you to feel like the image in this picture? No matter how you gender identify, what would it take for you to get to this place of serenity and peace? And it's interesting in this ball she's looking at, there are all these different butterflies. So I feel like butterfly energy is also going to be a big part of this week, bat and butterfly, both things that fly, both things that represent transformation, death and rebirth, right? That butterfly is before it, it becomes a butterfly, it's liquid. It's a caterpillar that liquefies itself in a cocoon to become this. What do you have to liquefy to become this? Because we all have it inside of us. This moon is saying like, are you gonna be your angel or are you gonna be your demon? And like, are you gonna treat yourself like you're an angel or are you gonna treat yourself like you're a demon? Now. This is an interesting conversation because in some ways, my experience has very much been about um, the more I push my like sort of dark side away, the more I see it reflected in my outside world. And I learned to work with archetypes within where it's actually like, I'm like, okay, this horrible part of myself, then sit down and have tea with me. And let me ask you some questions. It's like, once you shed light on it, then it shifts, it morphs, and then it's no longer this dark, what we would consider demonic, it becomes something more akin to that. Because you give it attention and you say like, I acknowledge you, I acknowledge this part. And I think that's what this moon is about. It's like, we can so easily blame circumstances that we don't like or not getting what we want on other people, circumstances, entities, uh, you know, governments, whatever. But at the end of the day, you are sovereign of your life. You're in charge of the universe that is you. And so who's in charge of that? What part of you is gonna be in charge of that? And how benevolent are you going to be to the parts of yourself that you're ashamed of or don't like? We also pulled clarity. So I feel like this week and with this moon, you know, we have Pluto that's now going to be going retrograde. And there's, when Pluto goes retrograde, it's like our, we, we can go even deeper or we can go into the blame game even further. And I feel like this moon offers you like a very clarifying moment which way are you going to go right now? Where are you going this summer? You know, we're going into an eclipse season at the end of May, May 26th, we have an eclipse. Two weeks later, we'll have another eclipse. It's change is the name of the game, but how are you going to be changing? When clarity comes up, it's like two things working. One, there you already know, trust your gut. Or two, if you don't know, Ask, ask for signs. Ask that you be shown the next step. Ask for clarity, as simple as it is. We also pull the card, cancel, clear, delete. I love this card. It gives a very clear set of a, a tool here. It says, use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. So we had recently the sun and Mercury conjunct, then Venus and Mercury conjunct. And when, when we have, and they're all squaring Saturn, this energy of, you know, speaking into form your world, that idea, right? That philosophy, that whatever you want to call that, which is really ancient knowledge, but 
it's kind of come back into the fore in the last 40 years. It is one of the hardest disciplines there is because it is so easy to just verbally vomit because there's a release that happens with it. But what you are speaking is the power of the word. And in most religious texts, it starts with some sort of comment on the word is creation itself. The power of what you speak, the power of what you write. I always tell my son this, you know, when he gets cranky and fussy and maybe he says some things that, you know, maybe lackluster. I'm like, think about what it, what, what you just said. What kind of energy are you putting out into your universe? Because that is what the ether, this soup we're living in, is going to give back to you. So if no other reason to watch your words than that, but this tool when you do say something that you're like, oh, no, 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 I wouldn't want that to happen. I, I can't believe I just said that. Say cancel, clear, delete three times. This programs, right, the part of your brain that is literally emitting energy into the soup that's going to be reflected back to you. It, it gets into that part of your brain and it is so effective. So this is <clears throat> kind of akin to switch words which I'll try to find that video. I had a client who asked me like, where's the switch word video? It's in the Seeking the Sacred Earth playlist on the YouTube channel. Um, if you don't know what Seeking the Sacred Earth was, that was originally what I was calling what I do here. So cancel, clear, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. That's another thing. As we move through this time of more light coming onto the planet, we're moving through a photon belt where... Um, it, you know, the magnetic field around the planet is weakening. So we're getting more of this cosmic energy. It increases our power to manifest as humans on this material plane. So what you're even thinking about becomes this ever important place of discipline. And this is where Saturn squaring Mercury, Saturn squaring Venus, Saturn squaring the sun is saying, Discipline in your thinking, discipline in your values, discipline in your expression. Are you expressing in a way that you're going to get the kind of return that you want? Because if you're not and you're saying, I want this, but you're not putting that out into the universe, then it's not truly what you want. And I think this moon is going to offer that clarity. It's going to show you, reflect to you, what are you really putting out there? What are you really putting out there? This moon's going to show you in outward circumstances or in an aspect of yourself creating conflict within. So I love doing this. This is a, a new thing I like to do. If you have a query, a question, something on your mind that you do need clarity on, think about it right now as I'm shuffling and I'll pull a card. What? is the answer to their query, just some guidance. And we got, you're ready. This is the second time we pulled this since I've gotten this deck. When the full moon is exact, it then begins to wane and we move into a two week phase where it's not so much about planting seeds, taking action, it's more about, okay, what am I working with now to reassess the terrain? Where are the seeds that I'm planting? How are they growing? What do I need to shift? What do I need to change? And it is about going into a more lunar, the, the yin energy, right? A slower energy. We have a lot of planets in Taurus. We're in Taurus season. That's going to make this part of it easy. But this card says, whatever it is you've planted, whatever it is you're hoping to see come back, whatever changes you need to make, whatever it is you need to put to bed, to put to death, so to speak, that part of it, you are ready. You are ready to let go of that bad habit, that pattern, that person, that past, that shame, that guilt, that regret, that resentment, that grudge, whatever. So this is an amazing time to let go of addictions. And, you know, we can be addicted to, you know, if you've had a tough childhood and it was really crazy and you didn't get everything you needed, you can be addicted to things being chaotic. You can be addicted to 
rejection because that's what you knew. And that this moon gives us the energy and the focus and the clarity to go that deep and say, oh, could I be addicted to things not working out for me because that's the way it was when I was young and I've never healed that and I'm not giving myself something better. It goes back to this, like you can give it to yourself. You just have to acknowledge that you may be in a rut of a pattern that was probably never yours to begin with. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. I know when I do these readings for you guys, I'm also like, I'm, I'm also listening because you know, that's how this kind of thing works. I want to encourage you guys to be gentle with yourself. We are coming out of some truly difficult times and, and, and moving into uncertainty and an energy that only lets you see one step ahead. That requires such faith, such trust in what you cannot see, in, in that future that you can't see, and in the unseen that is all around us, that energy. This is who you are at your core. What do you need to let go of to get back to this place? It's a shedding. You don't have to really take in anything. It's about shedding right now to get to this place. One step at a time. Bye, guys.